Okay, it is, what the hell time is it here? I'm in the frickin' hospital again. Oh, it's breakfast time. It's after six in the morning. How did your night at the hotel go? Well, it was a safe place to put my shit while I got my body checked for getting my ass kicked again. Ugh. God, it hurts. Uh, well, I still got a prescription to help offset the fucking fun I'm having on this wild adventure in Hell Night that just won't end. Oh, slippery mud. That's where you slipped earlier. Be careful. Eh. Okay. This hurts. Don't lecture me. Don't even judge me for having a cigarette right now. <clears throat> you know what? Whatever you're thinking, you're probably far from correct. So just stick around. And let me show you what's really going on in my world. It's an adventure from hell and back. Doing the right thing has a high price in life, especially when you're being honest at all costs, including your own ass getting kicked for being honest. See, I come from the philosophy that there's no such thing as a colored lie, like, hey, this is a white lie. A lie's a lie. And <clears throat> sometimes it's better not to answer the question than tell a lie. And other times I'll just say less is more and it's a better way to stay alive. Divulging too much information at the right place at the wrong time can get your ass killed. If not, at least severely beaten. As I know from lots of professional experience around the world covering news. into oncoming traffic on a blind curb when you feel like I do is not a bright idea, but there's no fucking sidewalk here. Ugh. Okay, let's uh, make a calculated risk and get into this at least. Hopefully they'll slow down and not run me over on this little island here. This is going to be a fucking fun time because I don't see any way to turn on the lights. Three hours ago. Wow, that was quick turnaround time. They did a really good job at BSA. I, I am very impressed. <laughs> I've been in and out of emergency rooms around the planet. These guys were rock star. In and out in three hours. Cat scans, x-rays, head to toe, analysis, everything. Prescription. Wonderful. 
That's the fastest I've ever been in out of an emergency room that I can recall in years. Normally my visits are anywhere from 8 to 10 hours just because in big cities there's a lot of drama going on. Mm. And when you visit as often as I do hospitals oh, for getting your ass kicked, they want to know why you keep coming back. So sometimes it's better to just find new hospitals ah, or go to other regions and go to hospitals there than do it in the same city repeatedly. It starts to just raise too many questions you don't need to answer. Mm. Like, why are you back again? <clears throat> and why do you keep falling down going boom boom? Uh, uh, and why are people helping you fall down? Oh, they didn't like the story I was shooting. They didn't like the film I was working on. That can sound nuts to people until they find out what's really going on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. This freaking hurts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ooh. Oh, cockroach. They're bigger here. Because all the freaking pesticides we use, we're not going to kill these things. They've been around longer than we have. We'll keep putting more pesticides into the environment to kill the little cockroaches. We'll even use stuff that we use in wars that'll kill people. But not cockroaches. They'll come back. Watch them. Okay. We've got some decisions to make here in our travel plans. Uh, like... Getting to a sidewalk and see what the fuck is going on. Oh dear. So I've got on both sides or just this side? Shit fuck, just this side. Son of a bitch. We need a crosswalk. And once again, a commodity. Fuck's sake. Ugh. I want to get out of here. God, could we figure this one out today? I do not need to spend another 40 days in this wonderful place. Uh, okay, keep moving. Stand it up. Stop. Ah, walk through the pain. Walk through the pain. Walk through the pain. Wow. Mmm.